If you're going to be a vessel, I use that word, if you're going to be a vessel, whether we look at this individually or look at it collectively, you, you can't leak, right? A leaky cup doesn't help much. I guess if you drink it, drink out of it quickly, maybe it's okay. <laughs> but we don't want to be a leaky vessel collectively. We want to be a whole vessel. And to you know, follow out the metaphor, if we're a whole vessel that can receive something spiritually into itself, of something primal for us individually, but primal for us collectively as humankind. What's primal for us collectively is to be the vessel and to receive the blessing of spiritual empowerment that's natural to us. That is our collective primal spirituality. But if we're to be that, we can't leak. The structure, the structure of the cup has to be right, just like it does for you. Because if you leak, it's just, you, the life force that is meant to power your life is going out someplace. If there's the kind of distraction, like a, um, a wavering, after discovering your primal spirituality, if you just go wandering off over here, you begin to leak. So here we are, living in a leaky world, trying to create or creating a vessel that does not leak here. The same issues that are present for an individual and in the world are, are right here. So the issues of invasion of a culture with all this uh, separation and fear going on, do you think that is at, at play for us and people who come to Sunrise Ranch? For individuals, but then for us collectively. So it's an invasion by the mass consciousness. It's more like an invasion by the mass unconsciousness. <laughs> an invasion by unconscious behaviors. So we're here to be awake. Would you agree that most of the leakiness that happens in your life or in other people's lives, if you don't leak, um, or it, that you see in the world, isn't most of it unconscious? In other words, if the person was really conscious of the thing, it'd be pretty hard to leak. It's when they kind of look the other way, they're not paying attention, they don't want to pay attention because they're, they're distracted over here, that there's some kind of leakiness that happens. Leakiness is an unconscious behavior. And if we see someone leaking, we can say, like, I get, I get it. It's like, and we can have empathy and compassion. We might also say, wake up. Because, what, there's no excuse under the law or whatever? The fact that you were unconscious doesn't really, it makes no good excuse because it still happened and you're still having the experience. That's how it is for us here, or anyone, but for us here. Oh, it happened, we got invaded vibrationally invaded by unconscious, fearful factors that could be our undoing because we were uh, unconscious. Well, what do you say to that? It's like, I don't know, let's be conscious. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Let's be conscious. <laughs> 